Hey, I wanted to jump on and talk a little bit to the watchmen who are standing on the wall, standing on their post, standing in position. And um, I just like to talk a little bit about the watchmen's challenges. Because being a watchman is a very important role. It's a very important role. So the challenges are real. <laughs> The challenges are real and one of the challenges that you will be faced with that I believe a watchman will be faced with is the spirit of slumber the spirit of laziness the spirit of slothfulness that spirit right there is going to attach to you or attempt to attach to you at a very early age in life because it wants you to to find yourself with those habits of laziness the habits of slumber the habits of slothfulness and you may say I'm not lazy I'm not slothful you know I'm not being a sluggard but if, if you're not then that's very 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 good you overcame it but the challenge that will face the watchman is the spirit of sluggardness, of slothfulness, of slumber. Because the enemy would want you to be more asleep and laid back and being lazy and being mediocre and lackadaisical so that you won't be alert and be in position to stand on that post, to stand on the wall. I've had to battle with it, you know, I've, and many times I still find myself wanting to slip back into those habits of being lazy, you know, and just, just relaxing. And, and trust me, as a watchman, you do have those times of relaxation when the Lord says, just rest. But that is not a perpetual state of being for the watchman. The Lord gives you the rest that you need, but many times you're going to be like, lack and sleep because the Lord will wake you up at any given time the Lord will have you doing things at any given time so and depending on what watch you're on what post you have many times the watchmen that are like awakened during the middle of the night and and get up to pray you know they really lack sleep a lot of them do so so <clears throat> it is a real thing and another challenge that the watchman I believe the watchman will be faced with is gluttony overeating overindulging in other things you know you um, shopaholics um, talkativeness you know the watchman will be faced with the spirit of gluttony and not to say that that spirit has to overtake you but you will be faced with it because whenever you're overeating you know the gluttony and a lot of time now now these spirits like work in cahoots because whenever you are in that lackadaisical sluggard slothfulness lazy boring mode then you're gonna eat <laughs> you're gonna eat so you will find yourself glutton and in a gluttony state a whole bunch of times because guess what if you take um a bite of that pie or that cake or that candy then you may find yourself just continuing to put the spoon up to your mouth you may find yourself still digging into that candy bowl or that cookie jar you may find yourself doing it because you're bored okay you're not on post you're bored and the enemy is going to to use that opportunity to get you to be that glutton okay and also whenever you overeat you don't want to fast <laughs> you don't want to fast you don't want to like get your flesh under submission because you can't control the urge to eat because gluttony doesn't have to always be like just you know doing this doing this it could be that you're supposed to be on a fast and you are like um, choosing to eat instead okay so that's total that's like rebellion and disobedience okay so you have to get that flesh under submission all right and i would believe i would say that another 
challenge of the watchmen will be just talkativeness, okay? Because whenever you are like on post or on assignment or whenever the Lord has you in that process and when the Lord has you like separated unto himself, you get in a mode of whenever you do finally like like get into like human interaction, you can find yourself just talking, 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 talking. And with a lot of talking comes vain words. With a lot of talking, you know, gossip may interject into into the equation. With a lot of talkative talkativeness, it is probably getting ready to be some disobedience in there, okay? And and sin. All right. So be very mindful of the challenges that would come with being a watchman. And that's only a few. That's only a few because it can go so many different ways, okay? Because if you're a single watchman, you're single, then your challenges are going to be a little different than if you're married, okay? And if you are married with children or even single with children, it's going to be different. So, so the challenges are there. So be aware of the challenges. Be aware of the challenges that would come to oppose you, all right? So um, I'm just going to pray for the watchman. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray right now that you would just fortify your watchman, Father God. Turn the captivity of the watchman, Father God, and put them on the wall. Put them back in position, position Father God. Turn their captivity turn the captivity father god from the gluttony turn the captivity father god from the overeating turn the captivity father god from the sluggardness and the slothfulness just turn the captivity father god because your watchmen are needed to be on their post raise up your watchmen father god raise up your watchmen and I remit their sin before you, Father God. Forgive them, Father God, for their thoughts, their words, and their deeds. Forgive them. Forgive me. Forgive us. Forgive us. For this is a day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Father God, just restore us. Give us newness, Father God. Give us new opportunities, Father God. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So watchmen on the wall, let's do what we are supposed to do. This world, look at the condition of this world. You are needed on a post. You are needed to complete your assignment or assignments. We are needed in the earth. Learn your post, learn your position and do it well. So that at the end of time, you will hear the Lord say, well done, thy good and faithful servant. All right. So um, I love you guys. Hold it in the road. And until we meet again, thank you for listening and thank you for watching. Please like and share if you know watchmen that are on the wall, if you know your fellow watchmen. And Father God, I would even pray that you will, would, would let us know other watchmen, Father God. Let us know even our community, Father God, of watchmen, Father God. Let us know one another because... We know the struggles, we know the victories, we know the rewards, we know. So let us come in contact with other fellow watchmen, Father God, that we will know them. That we will know them and have that common, that commonality, Father God. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And have a good day. Thank you.